Oh, welcome back to Full On Football. We're in the home stretch now, guys. We've got uh, Dwayne Gray from Mobbury Jets, uh, alias the Pool Man, <laughs> and uh, Aaron Vesterville from Raiders, who's going to be a porter on Hotel de Barton. So, as we said, it's coming soon to C31, so that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, guys, this is a wrap-up of the show, and it does go quick, doesn't it? It does, yeah, very quick. Mm, you don't yeah, seem so to get through half the things you want to talk about, but no. such is life. It's going to make a comparison, but I don't think I've ever, because we're in <laughs> 8.30 times <laughs> Wayne's heard that a few times. <laughs> OK. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, look, we've missed out on, on the yes, Sorza yes. results over the last couple of weeks, so let's. I've got some results to read out for you. The Top Corner Sports Premier Division, and can I just say... <sighs> Thank you to Top Corner Sports because uh, my young girl Lucy has been doing work experience there for the last week. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, they've looked after her. She, she's worked hard for them and I uh, have to say thank you to Sean Dutch uh, who's looked after her and Noel Clark. Thank you so much for giving her the opportunity. Good on you, Noel. Um, yes, so now the Top Corner Sports Premier Division. We don't have these on screen but I'll read them out for you. Campbelltown City 1, Fulham 7, Para Hills Nil. Um, my, my, I've just gone blank. Um, Metro United Magic 3, that's that M-U-W-F-C. Sturt Marion 2, Adelaide City 1, Western Districts nil, Adelaide Olympic 9, and in the reserves, Campbelltown uh, went down to Fulham 7 nil. Parry Hills Knights 1, uh, Metro United 8, Sturt Marion 3, Adelaide City 2, and Western Districts nil, Adelaide Olympic 10. I was at that match and they absolutely dominated. So what I do want to do is show you the uh, tables for the women's. So let's look at the Premier League. And here we see Fulham on top. Now look, the first four teams are on 12 points. So that's how tight it is. All with four wins. So we've got Fulham on 12, Adelaide City on 12, uh, Metro United on 12 and Sturt Marion on 12, Parra Hills 9, Adelaide Olympic with their first, well, two wins now because they lost the first three. They're on six, uh, Cumberland United on six, Campbelltown City on three and Western Districts on nil. And let's have a look at the reserves table. And we're going to look at that in a short while. I think that's coming up. Here it is. Adelaide Olympic undefeated. Love it. On 15 points. Uh, five straight wins there. Metro's United on 12. Cumberland 12. Sturt Marion 12. Western District 7. Fulham United on 6. Campbelltown on 4. Adelaide City 3. Parry Hills Knights nil. And Modbury, the inaugural Modbury women's team. First loss was against Elizabeth Downs last week, a 4 0 loss, but they're doing very well, Dwayne. They are doing extremely well now, extremely well. I was a bit disappointed I went down to watch them uh, a couple of weeks ago, and at the end of the game I was expecting them to uh, swap shirts, but it never happened. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going back. Uh, oh, no, I'm, yes. just, I'm just kidding. It was an excellent game. Yeah, there are actually some good girls out there playing, and uh, it's good to watch. Just one more result. Yes. Uh, people didn't hear. Croydon lost 4-1. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't 4-0. It wasn't 4-0. It, it was 4-1. We're going to have a bashing right. here, right? The no, first bashing on floor football. Hey, listen, can I just say, look, I'm happy to accept criticism. Oh, look, people give me criticism every time. But let's be constructive. If you think that you can do a better job, come and assist me. You know, because really, I'm battling away on my own here. And uh, also doing stories in the uh, Messenger Press and to the uh, newspaper interstate and, uh, you know, I accept any help. Please help me and we can make it bigger and better. That's all I've got to say. Unfortunately, I've... when you put yourself out there, Nat, you're, mm. uh, you put yourself open for criticism and there's, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people around the place that like to criticise and uh, that's just something that, you know, it's like coaching. It's water off a duck's back <laughs> exactly. after a little while. You just don't worry about it. Exactly. Now, I've got some news from FSA. Let's have a look. The State Talent Identification Championships are on again. Fantastic. This is a great carnival. It's October long weekend, 4th, 5th and 6th. Great opportunity to showcase junior talent and that's where you see it all. Uh, do us a favour, get down to these uh, uh, carnivals because brilliant. They're looking for nominations for coaches. There you can see the boys teams and girls teams, so there's uh, tons of them, north, south, east, west and country. Uh, please go onto the website ffsa.com.au and sorza.com.au to download the application forms. Also, if you're interested, coaching courses, grassroots football certificate. I actually might go along and do this. Uh, Saturday, 7th of June, 9.30 to 12.30 at Jubilee Park, Bartley Terrace. $25 only per person, so you want to register for that, get on to ffsa.com.au. Now, if you want to contact us, do so in the following way. You can contact us via email on adamna at optusnet.com.au. Write to us at Full On Football, PO Box 319 at Henley Beach 5022. 
or call me on 0421507948 and I say I'm always looking for reporters, cameramen and people to assist me, especially sponsors because it's all sponsor generated and run. And also thank you to all our major sponsors and supporting sponsors that we have on the show who you see through our commercials. Thanks to Rocky Visconti for being our guest tonight. Really appreciate him coming on. All the best, Rocky, and hello to all the Hearts Football Club people. Dwayne and Aaron, thanks again for being here tonight. I can't <coughs> believe how fast this time goes. I have to thank you for your wonderful support that both of you give. Aaron, all the best for the rest of the season with Raiders. May you score many more times. Thank you. On the park. Yes. <laughs> Dwayne, uh, may the Jets continue flying high. All the best for the rest of the season and well done on the start of the season. Thank you and I hope I score many more times as well. <laughs> oh, but thank you for watching us and hope you enjoyed the show. Really thanks for all your support. Yeah, um, remember the show's repeated on Saturday mornings at 11.30. See you out at the games and remember, don't run on empty, get full on football. Good night. Here we go.